like um, if I can get a count, Cherise. Okay, we'll just keep on until we roll in through the credits here. Um, Okay, we also had some uh, other incidents that are coming up. Um, you know, we there's a Arizona passed Senate Bill 1070 um, regarding, um, you know, that it being illegal to be in this country um, as an immigrant without papers, so that they can um, pull people over and basically ask for their ID. And if you could talk about that, if you want to comment on any of that. Um, well, first of all, what I think needs to be understood is that, is that it's, this bill is essentially just the state applying the already existing federal law right. to their state yes. law. Um, so it's not something that's uniquely Arizona. It, it is very horrible, but um, it's, it's, it's a part of a bigger problem. Um, it's definitely a, a situation of, you know, there's definitely a, a problem when you give uh, police that kind of power. Right. It is a police state. Um, and, uh, it, and it, of course, they're saying that it's not going to be uh, targeting people of color, brown people. But the reality is when you're, what is, what is the suspicion, you know, to, to, that's, how do you suspect that someone's an illegal immigrant? You know, what, right. what is the criteria? Um, and I believe that they've modified some of the bill since it originally was put out there, but nonetheless, it's still a situation of um, terrorizing people based on where they're from, you know, right. based on not having papers. And, Michael, um, there are a few other states, I believe, that um, are now wanting to jump on the bag wagon with the same kind of um, support for this bill and wanting to implement it in their own states. Um, have you heard any more information about that? Um, the only information I have is that there is, I believe, 13 other states that have uh, legislation like that on there that they're ready to enact. Uh, I believe they're probably just waiting to see what the outcome of uh, Arizona's, uh, you know, they, I guess they're like testing it right. out there and they're seeing how, you know, pe people are being affected by it you know, how they can modify their laws in order to make it stick. Um, but there's a lot of, you know, people who are anti, you know, Senate Bill 1070 and, you know, there's actions being organized all over against this. And, you know, there's going to be uh, other states that are taking action and uh, are going to boycott Arizona. Um, also, there is a, uh, a huge demonstration going to take event really soon here uh, in Phoenix. Okay. And, uh, and you know, um, we support them with uh, their not, um, not uh, being allowed to be stepped on like this and to be um, subjugated to these laws that, you know, they always seem right. to create and to protect themselves. And right. Not really for everyone else. So these are really, you know, two examples of real, like, blatant racism. But now um, what's come up is, you know, there's a, um, a show, show called The, um, the Dudesons on MTV. Um, I know that our chapter has been really involved um, in bringing out the fact of just, just mocking our culture. Um, you know, we're going to show a clip on that, if we can bring that up. Okay, well, maybe for future time we'll, we'll bring that up. But, um, you know, let's just talk about the fact that um, MTV has produced a show, and um, it's people from Finland, from what I understand, and they, what is it, like a contest or, um, but this particular show that they were like how to be a, how to be a native or, um, you want to yeah, talk about, sure. um, introduce that? Th this show is uh, produced um, by Johnny Knoxville. Okay. It's in the genre of like their, um, was it called Jackass? Right. And uh, they've got four uh, thin men um, participating in, uh, you know, self 
injuring stunts throughout the show. Uh, and they also have, um, the, the mockery is that they're, by completing these stunts, which they call the rites of passage, that they would be, you know, honorary members of uh, a Native American nation. Um, but um, the mockery is, you know, that these uh, some sacred symbols that we use and traditional items, such as, you know, totem poles, which are very sacred to uh, some of the Northwest nations, um, are being used for one such subject to be uh, take a, a hit in his groin, and uh, which is, you know, sometimes I, I suppose it's funny, but you know, if you're using a totem pole to smash a guy in the groin, it's just it's disrespectful to the totem. Um, also, you know, they have um, another area where there is a guy who's. Uh, I guess, learning to uh, be a horseman, because a lot of the tribes are very adept at, you know, being right. a horseman. Um, so he jumps off a building onto a plastic uh, shape of a horse and injures, him, injures his, uh, his um, butt, I would say. Okay. So, you know, and they uh, interject that, oh, well, um, you're the chief now, because he's, he's injured himself in that way. So, um, so uh, you know, it's not respectful it's you know they're they're making a mockery they generalizing all our nations which is over you know 500 nations here right um and they just put us in one category same things same song again and again you know that you know that uh we're all the same and we're you know whatever they can do um that uh they believe is their image of an indian than they are. Yeah, that's yeah. really sad. And I think um, their marketing is basically probably your generation, Diego. Um, do you want to comment about the show? Well, I, you know, I, I think that it's, you know, it's amazing that people can be so disrespectful to other people. I, I really don't know what inspires them to, uh, to take a, a real living culture and, you know, make it into something that's a, a game for other people to yeah. play, especially, you know, when considering the fact that this is not, you know, a, uh, this is not a, a culture that has been in a position of dominance, you know, this is not, a, you know, this isn't, you're not, not satiring, satiring someone above you, you're right. going and attacking someone below you, you know, someone who has had to fight, you know, to, to maintain the integrity of that culture. Yeah, so MTV has kind of issued a really passive type of apology saying I you know I'm sorry that I offended you but basically haven't really taken accountability and um, AIM is demanding that they take this accountability and get this stuff off the air. Um, we're going to be closing right now Michael do you want to just quick message about that? Um, yeah um, AIM SB is taking the lead on this. Um, we are uh, issuing a statement to MTV uh, and a deadline that uh, by June 1st, if they do not pull the episodes, uh, issue an apology, we'll, we'll boycott their sponsors and uh, MTV and their uh, award ceremony. We're going to get our message out there. So there you have it, MTV.